What's going on guys? Welcome back to Technique Critiques. I'm Coach Brian from Big Ben Strength. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the lifters on our team, Amy's uh, Jerk. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with. I believe this is right around 115, maybe 105 pounds. A little wobbly there. Alright, so... You kind of see balance is just off there. Um, usually if balance is off in the split, it's because of some issue of balance in the dip and drive. So let's see what we're working with here. Dip's not bad, but I think she probably dips a little too low. Okay, so that is one thing that we have been working on uh, is not dipping too low. She's definitely way better. It's way better of a dip but still a little bit too low, right? This is, this is about as low as you probably needed to go. You can kind of see that at the further you dip, you come onto your toes here and your hips shift forward and then your hip thrusts forward. Eh, not, not too much. It ha happened a little bit, but nothing crazy. Which caused that bar to be out in front. And we've got another issue separately here of understanding where you need, like the height of where you catch the bar on your split. Um, this is just, uh, this is something that most people tend to struggle with is, is the split jerk isn't really meant to elevate the bar super high. That means that when you catch your split or when you're in your split position, if we look here at the angle of your front leg, that front leg shouldn't be this high, which means that your hips are super high, which means that you're trying to move the bar high and catch the bar high. Uh, instead, the goal should be to drive the bar high enough for you to get under it. And at heavier and heavier weights, high enough is going to be maximally high, and then just, but it's really going to be just enough for you to get under it. With these lighter weights, it can be hard to kind of grasp the idea of not trying to drive as hard as possible right? And catch the bar as high as possible. We want to drive it just enough, right? Optimal with the weight where you're kind of putting a little too much off on that drive, which is causing you to catch that bar high. All right. So if we we're to look at the split position, this split, the front leg should be a little bit closer to above parallel, right? Obviously we don't want to be at parallel. We don't want to Definitely don't want to be below parallel, but uh, just above, right? This is a little bit too high of an angle here. We could probably go right about here is going to be where your best angle for your front leg is going to be, which means that you need to start trying to punch yourself down a little bit lower as opposed to trying to drive the bar higher. So that's really all I got to focus on for this technique critique. Um, that's fix the dip. That's going to fix a whole lot of issues, right? So just still not quite as low. You don't need to dip nearly as much as you think you do. And then on your split, the goal is to drive high enough for you to just punch yourself down, not to drive the bar as high as possible and catch the bar as high as possible every time. Two, two kind of big things to work on there. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And if you want technique critiques like these for your lifts, go ahead and check out the Patreon linked in the description below. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.